Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to NewYorkPost.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. So we got the New York Post uh, article posted at October 28, 2024, 1.45 p.m. My throat, as you can tell, is still sounding terrible from being sore. But this is what happened for... The uh, 1028 polls conducted by the New York Post, Quinnipiac, Rasmussen, Polymarket, and the rest is where they got the, the sources from on the New York Post were from those sources and Quinnipiac and all of them. This is for four battleground states. The fight between Donald J. Trump and Kamala Harris carries on. According to YouTube analytics, 81% of our viewers aren't subscribed. So help make history and get us to 10,000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button right now and sharing it with your friends and family because we're doing election maps up until election day where we do a live election map fill-in with you people. Thank you so much. Let's fill in that map according to this article. Here we go. We got the states filled in that are for Kamala Harris, which are all blue. They include Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, Illinois, Virginia, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, D.C., and Hawaii are all blue for Kamala Harris. The red states for Donald J. Trump or lean Republican, they don't necessarily mean that they are Republican, are Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and Nebraska's second dis or first district, South Dakota, North Dakota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and Maine, parts of Maine, I should say, not all of Maine. Maine at large is blue, but Maine's second district is also red. Now, according to the New York Post, we can fill in almost safely uh, Michigan, Arizona, and Georgia, and Pennsylvania. So we're going to start off with Arizona on the bottom left. Nevada will not be colored in, according to the New York Post article in comments. Nevada is too cl close to call, so it will remain gray and or white, undecided for people. Arizona, according to the New York Post article that we showed in the beginning of the video, has Trump at 48% to Kamala's 46%, giving Trump the red, but don't fill it in yet because with these states filling right now, Trump is losing with 219 electoral votes. Kamala Harris is winning with 226, but he won Arizona by um, one, oh, two percent actually. So click red for Arizona. That will give Trump a lead at 230 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 226. There's still enough room for Kamala to win. Um, so don't get offended yet. Tell us who you want to win in the comments below. But let's fill in the rest of these states that the New York Post article had. They have up next is Michigan. Michigan with 15 electoral votes. According to the New York Post website, Trump has 48% to Kamala Harris is 47, making Michigan red for Donald J. Trump. That gives him 245 electoral votes to Kamala Harris is 226. 67 votes in states are not yet labeled. But I will tell you, according to certain websites yesterday, Trump was losing steam in Michigan. He has not done a rally there in days. That's what happens with these uh, elections is when a candidate does not do a rally, that includes Kamala Harris, she took two days off. When they don't do a rally in certain states for a long time, and in election seasons, two days is a death blow to a race. So Kamala Harris took two days off. That caused her numbers to drop for those two days. Then she started doing rallies again, and they increased in Wisconsin and Georgia when she did rallies there. So that explains why there's drop in support in Michigan for Donald J. Trump. He hasn't done a rally there in days. So next up, according to NewYorkPost.com, we're going to Georgia, the bottom right, GA16. Trump leads Kamala Harris 48% to her 47 or 46%. So he's got 48%. She's got 46%. That makes Georgia red for Donald J. Trump. He's winning by 2% according to the New York Post and their sources that they use as we listed in the beginning of the video. North Carolina is not colored in because uh, New York Post doesn't have any statistics for North Carolina. Wisconsin, they don't have statistics for that, and I already explained Nevada. Last up, according to the New York Post, is Pennsylvania. Trump has 48% to Kamala Harris's 47% in Pennsylvania, giving Pennsylvania to Donald J. Trump. 
That gives Donald J. Trump 280 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 226. But let's say Kamala Harris won North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Nevada. What would that give her? That gives her 258 to Donald J. Trump's 280 electoral votes, making it not so much a close race, but a landslide victory for Donald J. Trump. So undo Nevada, undo um, Wisconsin, and undo North Carolina. And those are the statistics for today. Donald J. Trump's 280 electoral vote went to Kamala Harris's 226. Kind of a flip from 2020, if you want to be honest. Joe Biden versus Trump. That makes Donald J. Trump the big winner. Are you happy with this result? According to the New York Post, not our opinion. Or are you angered by this? Let us know why. If you don't like Donald Trump winning, why don't you like it? If you don't want Kamala Harris to win, why don't you like it? And base it in facts. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are. Out. Praise the Lord.